In 2018, I did my very first attempt to vlog one of my trips, except it didn't go as planned and all of my camera gear got stolen on the second day. I still managed to record some videos with the new camera I had to buy, but let's just say they are nothing like what you've seen on the Jordan series. Anyways, two years later, here I am, bringing this trip back to life. in the French Riviera and those will be the locations included on this vlog. After the unfortunate event with my gear on day 2, we went exploring on day 3 with our host to Villefranche. During the whole 17 days we spent in this area of Europe, we stayed at different people's houses for couchsurfing. We walked from Nice by the coast to get to this beautiful and lesser known location right next to Nice with the very calm waters and with a beautiful center with colorful houses. The following day, we went exploring in the center of Nice. Somehow, I did not record every place we visited, including the beautiful Place Massina, but I really loved it. After walking through the colorful streets of Nice's whole town, we went up to the castle hill and its cemetery to get the best views over the harbor and the promenade. Here we met a fellow traveler, Tian, who decided to join us on the following day towards S. At the end of the day, we went to Simier Arena Park, but unfortunately, the archaeological museum was closed. The next day, we went on a 30 minute bus journey to S, a mountain top medieval village with stunning views to the Mediterranean coast and surrounding towns. We spent quite a bit of time at the exotic garden and those views were definitely one of the best. After roaming around S, we decided to use the remaining time of the day to explore Park Phoenix. All I can say about this decision is that this is a beautiful place, but our money was quite wasted. Overall, the place is not well maintained and you don't have much to see to be fair. Our last day in Nice was spent at Cap Ferrat, so we could enjoy some beach time. Cap Ferrat, just like Villefranche, is another beach alternative to the busy Pebble Beach in Nice, and this one here has stunning views and plenty of space. We then left Nice on a bus towards Monaco. The first thing we did was going up to Tête de Chien, a wonderful viewpoint in La Tourbie. We were very lucky that our host was super kind and he actually drove us there. After that, we visited the Japanese garden, and the following day, we were committed to explore as much as possible in one day. We started with the exotic gardens, but this time in Monaco. I'm truly happy we did that as this place has wonderful views, a nice gallery and even some caves. gardens we left towards the oceanographic museum and once we explored its interiors we left for a few more hours of roaming around this beautiful place
day, I decided to take a bus and stop between Monaco and Mondong to get this beautiful view. From there, I walked through Cap Martin towards Mondong. It was a long hike, but really worth it. Once I finally got to Monton, I had some time to explore its harbour and the beautiful picturesque promenade and beach. And of course, enjoy its waters. Oh, and I learned how to float for the first time thanks to our host in Monton. We then went to the Italian Riviera for a few days as I'll show you on the next vlog. And before we ended our summer trip, we had one day to explore two locations we did not have time for previously. And we chose some Paul de Vence, a small town on a hill full of art galleries and Cannes. That's it for today, I hope you enjoyed the little footage I got from this great summer trip and if you did, please leave a like and a comment as I would truly appreciate that. If you're new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell and I will see you next week with an Italian Riviera vlog. Bye!